This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jimenita Swain. Sterling Financial Group announcing that it's agreed to purchase Caledonian Trust Limited and Caledonian Directors Limited both out of the Cayman Islands. That deal still has to be given green light regulatory approval in the Cayman Islands. A press release from the company outlines that the acquired company will maintain their current offices and staff but will be renamed Sterling Trust Cayman Limited and Sterling Directors Limited. That is, once approval is granted by the Cayman Islands Monetary Fund. In other business news, Darbo Wong Realty looking at attracting high net worth Chinese investors interested in moving their investments to the Bahamas, as well as those looking to secure residency status. Firm co-partner William Wong said he was encouraged by a recent meeting with the ambassador who pledged to assist the firm wherever it can to facilitate Chinese investors coming here. This summer, the real estate firm hopes to visit China and meet with key stakeholders, as well as explore the possibility of having a representative in China who can position a firm to attract ultra-rich investors to the Bahamas. And in international business news, a cybersecurity firm is reporting that a hacking ring has stolen up to $1 billion from banks around the world. The Associated Press is reporting that the breach could be one of the biggest known. The Russian security firm Kaparsky Lab states that the hackers have been active from the end of 2013 and infiltrated more than 100 banks in 30 countries. The company explains that the hackers, after gaining access to the bank's computers through phishing schemes and other methods, they lurk to learn the bank systems. They even go as far as taking screenshots and even video of employees' computer screens. That was your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jimenita Swain. St. Agnes Anglican Church Men and Women Organization celebrated 51 years of service to the church and the community recently. Members of both organizations gathered last week for a special Thanksgiving service where a new slate of officers and executives were installed. During the event, Father Whitfield Hutchinson commended the men and women for their work. 51 years is a long time. 51 years ago, I was still in Pampas. Oh, no, they didn't have Pampas then, eh? And the blue-eyed diapers with the big pin in it. Eh? That's a long time. And so I say to you, press on. Serve on. Heaven has a record of your service. And only what is done for Jesus Christ will last, eh? Reverend Hutchinson charged the new president of the, of the Anglican Christian man, Henry Bain, and the Anglican Christian woman, Michelle Fox, to empower others. The first step to empowering others is to strive to empower yourself. Get what you need so that you can help others get what they need. By reaching out, you help to broaden your experiences. Number two, ACM and ACW, become a mentor. And if you offer to mentor someone, do not expect anything more than appreciation in return. So if you don't get a plaque, and Bahamas like a plaque now, if the person says thanks, that ought to be enough, eh? He took on farming as a hobby, but one Family Island farmer says he is not now growing a crop he thinks can lead to major industry for Crooked Island. We get that story from Cleopatra Murphy. Crooked Island farmer Elton McKinney has developed a passion for passion fruit and believes he can develop it into a major industry on the island. For the past year and a half, he has been growing the fruit which he says makes a great juice and the crop's output has been encouraging. The farmer makes juice which he distributes locally and he says natives have been passionately buying it. Hopefully in the very near future what I'd like to do is um, uh, get a, a serious industry going out of it making the drink and also exporting the fruits maybe up to Nassau or wherever there's a good market I can find you know. McKinney, who does small-scale farming, took it on as a hobby five years ago as an aside to his main job, bone fishing. He cleared the land by hand and says he intends to expand his current two acres to grow more crops. His crops include papaya, sweet pepper, cabbage, tomato, goat pepper and cassava. He says more people should grow their own food. As long as you can re um, uh, feed yourself, you're good to go. Because, like I said, instead of going to the food store and buying all the stuff you can grow right here on the island, you know. Like I said, here on the island, things are very expensive. And if the mailboat doesn't come, like I said, I'm, uh, you know, there's nothing I'm, uh, here, you know. 
So uh, the mail boat brings in everything and after a day or two, the food stores run out of everything. So if you can um, uh, grow your own stuff, it'll be much better and it also is organically grown. McKinney says he supplies a local restaurant and local hotel with some of his crops, shares some with family and keeps the rest for himself. However, McKinney says he wants to make it more of a business and is looking for government assistance to facilitate that. And for the past five years plus, I've been you know, trying to encourage and agitating for assistance from BAIC and from the government. But unfortunately, I ain't getting no assistance, not yet, but still you know, trying and doing what I can on my own. You know. The farmer says while he started the farm just as something to do, he's becoming more serious about it. He also enjoys being able to eat what he had a hand in growing. Cleopatra Murphy, ZNS Network News. The annual Love Fest took place in Hatchet Bay, Eleuthera on Saturday. It was a time for Bahamian musicians and DJs to showcase their skills and talents. Uh, Julian Gibson tells us there are some guys on the block that are pr promoting all things Bahamian. Entertaining the crowd in Hatchet Bay on Friday night was Dyson Knight. But the main headliner was Jaheen. <laughs> For promoter Javero Camp, it's all about promoting Bahamian music and musicians. A young Bahamian, one of the young role models for the young fellas. My project is to silence the violence and try to bring some of the young fellas to do right, be a just or a good man. As you know, we have a lot of crime and whatever else going on. So me and much of them look up to me as a role model, a hatchet bay. So I come home every so often to do events, to bring peace and love to the community. We right now pushing the Bahamian out of heart and try to bring some life into hatchet bay. But hatchet bay need it. It literally need it on the whole. And yes, the promotion business is a tough one. Well, it's plenty of work. It's plenty of work. You have to have the right team. If you don't have the right team, it ain't gonna work. You got it, and it's hard. Everybody just look at it. It's come to have fun or the body, but they don't look behind the scene to see what all you have to do to get a successful thing. But according to Promoter Camp, he still believes there's a taste for Bohemian music in the country. It's what we give the people. If we give the people Bahamian music, they can accept it. But if we give them the Bram Bram, then they accept it. It's whatever you do. That's why they always say, bend the tree while it's young. So if you don't do it like that, that mean and the young fellas coming up and they have Bram Bram music, that's what they go adapt to. Now there are future events planned for the island of Eleuthera. Reporting for the ZNS News Network, I'm Julian Gibson.